In today's video, you're going to see what a breathing forest looks like. You'll also see the famous Gates of Hell and how it earned the title, and lastly, you'll see why rivers meet but never mix. Stay tuned to this channel for more juicy details and more. Breathing Forest Imagine you came across a breathing forest and didn't exactly know what it was. I'd bet you crap your pants though, but who wouldn't? The thought of a breathing forest sounds bizarre and leaves you wondering just how true it is, and also walking by trees that go <sighs> just sounds terrible in general. Over in 2021, a creepy video revealing a breathing forest surfaced on the internet. This left people astonished and marveled as it kept rising and falling from a forest, breathing like a human being. To find an answer to the rising questions and reaction this video brought, many likened the phenomenon to an earthquake. Thanks to science, though, we do have our answer. They said the breathing forest resulted from the wind. Because of excess space under the tree root system, the wind could blow the trees above the ground and pull their root system back and forth, causing it to look like a breathing forest. Creepy, yes. Unnatural, not really. Tree Pollen Ever wondered what it'd be like to watch a tree produce such a large amount of pollen that looks like a yellow cloud? Well, this pine tree did it. It may seem normal for a tree to fall down, but not until it produces some fluffy pollen large enough to make people suffer from an allergy nightmare. This pine tree formed a huge puff of pollen that looked like an ominous yellow cloud, and while fallen pine trees will produce such a large amount of pollen, a little nudge on a standing pine tree would also produce similar fluffy yellow pollen clouds from its branches. A video of this was posted on Facebook by a couple who mentioned that she was warned about the pollen. According to the Allergy and Asthma Foundation of America, pollen like this is among some of the most common triggers for seasonal allergies since they can carry sperm cells that allow plant fertilization and yes, I didn't really stutter there. Rivers Meet Knowing how calm water is, you'd never imagine two different rivers would meet but never mix. Over in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, we do have this bizarre situation that has been explained because of an invisible border between the two rivers. One is freshwater, and the other is saltwater. The border seems like a line between two worlds since these rivers do not flow into each other. They just kind of stay separate. It's said that the separation is because of the different temperatures and densities of the rivers. There are several cases of waters that do meet but never mix, and some include the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean that meet at the Strait of Gibraltar and the Fraser River Delta just in front of Vancouver, BC, and Canada, and this flows towards the Strait of Georgia. Moose Walking on Water You might not have been able to see this for a bit, but it's also not terribly uncommon. We have caught on camera a moose walking on water, which is pretty magical to watch a moose effortlessly running on said water, defying the laws of gravity as it throws its feet one step at a time over the body of water. You wouldn't have believed this if we only showed you a picture because, naturally, a moose is pretty large and heavy on itself. While it may look pretty cool, it was revealed that the moose may not exactly be running on top of the water. Instead, it's simply just a shallow bit that he actually can just stand right over. Whether it actually is a miracle or not, I'll leave up to you. Whales sleeping One of the more majestic things to actually see in the ocean is giant whales. Specifically, let's talk about some giant sperm whales here. Though much has been revealed about them through research, their sleeping habits has been a curiosity to many. Most of the time, whales are simply on the move, trying to get some food or actually avoid predators. Thanks, though, to expert divers and researchers, we do have a first-hand sight of these whales sleeping. It's honestly kind of surreal just to see them floating there. At first, you might think something's wrong, but no, they're just sleeping. Funny enough, though, with their sleeping, they're known to nap for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is a pretty short time considering their size. This form of sleeping is called drift driving, and if you're wondering how they'd survive being motionless in the water, you should know that these animals sleep with half their brain active, so they can stay afloat and soar upwards to breathe. Walking Ladders Your first thought at the sight of a walking ladder at night would probably just be to run, and rightly so. Since ladders moving from their work positions have become worrisome, who knows, might have been possessed. Thankfully though, the answer is pretty straightforward. Judging from old-fashioned science, it's not out of place for ladders to move on their own from one place to another. In fact, the best conditions allow for these ladders to walk due to gravity, angle, or repose, and friction between the ladder and the floor. It's pretty much just motion in motion, so there's really nothing horribly paranormal about this. Aoki Kahara 
Aokigahara, the forest is one of the more popular locations in Japan, but sadly the reasons for that aren't as happy. While the forest may have lush, beautiful trees and amazing views, there is a few reasons why this place isn't exactly friendly. It's known as the Suicide Forest, and this is because a lot of people visit the forest to commit suicide and take their own lives. Heck, over in 2010, local police in Japan recorded over 200 people who attempted to take their own lives in this forest. Contrary to popular belief, though, the forest is not entirely forbidden, however, there are certain areas that are kind of sectioned off for the general public. While there have been attempts made to kind of stifle the whole, you know, taking your life in a forest, it hasn't really been successful. Blood Falls Blood Falls is a geological oddity located in the frigid white paradise of Antarctica. Hidden in the snow, Blood Falls is considered one of the world's strangest phenomenon, and it's easy to see why just by looking at it. While researchers were initially baffled by its existence, since again it just seems like blood just seeping from a rock, it's actually believed that the decoloration of the water was caused by red algae. While that is very true, it also has a lot of brine that is high in iron, which is why the water has a blood red decoloration. Glowing Water If you think you've seen the seven wonders of the world and are just about the most incredible things to see, then this water is definitely going to make you reconsider. In only a few oceans across the world, ocean waves have been seen glowing so brightly and are a beautiful sight to behold. Interestingly enough, these glowing waves are caused by bioluminescence of the water from algae blooms. This happens when the algae bloom is distributed by a huge wave breaking or a huge splash. It's of course a pretty stunning sight, and it's best seen at night. Danaki Depression Found in the northern part of the Alpha Triangle in Ethiopia, the Danaki Depression is a geographical depression that arises from the divergence of three tectonic plates in the Horn of Africa. What this entire place is about is basically a drainage basin that retains water, just like a river but without a means of escape. It's also famous for being one of the hottest places on the planet, and the Danaki Depression is a world of its own. It has lava lakes, salt lakes, volcanoes, and colorful acidic springs. One of the more notable things about the Danaki Depression is the remains of human fossil Lucy, which dates back to 1974. Door to Hell Ever heard of the famous Gates of Hell? It's a 230-foot giant crater that's been on fire since 1971, which is about 50 years at this point. So famous that it was nicknamed the Gates of Hell for many other reasons as well. It is located in the Dawarza Aval province of Turkmenistan. This gas crater is a burning natural gas that collapsed into a cavern. There's no accurate explanation as to how this fire ensued, however the most popular theory is that the door to hell was created when a Soviet drilling rig accidentally punched into a massive underground natural gas cavern. This in turn caused the ground to collapse and the entire drilling rig to fall in. Thinking this fire would only go out after a few weeks, the geologists set the hole alight. But the gates of hell have been burning ever since and have become a tourist attraction for many. However, it might not be around for much longer. Turkmenistan President Gurbanguly has ordered the government to begin research on how to put the fire out, probably for safety reasons. Inside of a turtle's mouth Turtles may appear cute to some on the outside, but inside their mouth it's pretty gross and kind of terrifying as well. Looking more like something out of a horror film, you can just see why some people wouldn't really want to see this. This mouth in particular belongs to the leatherback sea turtle, the third largest living reptile in the world and the largest turtle in general. As you can see with these teeth-like protrusions, they're made out of the same protein found in the nail and hair of humans. Surprisingly though, turtles are not carnivorous, and regardless of how scary their mouth is, that isn't going to change that. I imagine these bristles are for when they try to eat jellyfish, to keep them in place so that way they can swallow them properly. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This one is going to keep you pretty stunned. Declassified UFOs If you have a backing for science and the paranormal, then this one's all for you. Over in 2015, a video that was released showed footage of a never-before-seen tic-tac-shaped craft that moved at unfathomable speed without any signs of heat emission. The Pentagon actually released this video themselves in order to clear up any misconceptions. While there have been several conspiracy theories following the release of this content, it's not certain if these aircraft belong to extraterrestrial bodies like aliens or if they're simply from Russia, China, or the US. For now, we can just kind of sit here and speculate and, well, make more conspiracy theories. Sea fleas emerging from the sand 
Whether or not you're suffering from trypophobia, the sight of fleas is definitely a turnoff for a lot of people. While it is a rare sight, these fleas were seen emerging from the sand for some reason. Now, sea fleas are flesh-eating creatures, so you gotta be careful for them. They're known to feed on dead marine animals, like seabirds, fish, crabs, and occasionally whale carcasses when they wash up on the shore. Of course, usually found on the beach, these creatures can cut through human skin as well, especially when there's a handful of them. There are a few reported cases of human-on-flea violence, but ultimately, they're kind of rare and few and far between. Probably the worst one being a teenager who emerged from the water with blood gushing from his foot because of these fleas. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The ocean on fire. Seems kind of counterproductive, huh? Water on fire? Though granted, we've seen a breathing forest, so at this point anything's fair game, really. This huge fire was seen in the ocean of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. You would think that the ocean would consume the fire, however, and the flames raged on for hours, disregarding the ocean and its wetness. It was revealed that the fire was a result of an underwater pipe failure in an offshore oil rig. While it did take a while for the fire to fully extinguish, it did eventually go out. This alone shows that regardless of how advanced we've become, there are certain man-made accidents that can harm our biodiversity. See you all next time!